Hey there guys, Zenny here. Uh, let's talk about uh, the triangle, kind of at the transition. I'm sorry it took me so long, but you know. Here we go. So it, as you can see, this is the kind of transition which will get you uh, one picture over another uh, through this kind of shape which looks like a cut triangle. So and how to do it is extremely easy. As you can see, it's another example from uh, another video of mine. Uh, yeah, so let's let's get to it. Let's go for a random episode. Let's get some part here. Let's do it. Um, okay, and now we need another another full. Another part of footage. Let's let's pick this one for example. Okay, and as you can see, as you will notice, if you are a beginner, you probably try to find effects for uh, most of the the solution for most of the the editing you are doing. But actually, mm, a lot of stuff, most of the stuff you are going to make in Sony Vegas. Uh, it's basically done. Uh, it's basically done ma manually, and this is no. Um, this is no different. So we have a we have a footage here, and we have a footage which is over it, and you don't want this one to appear to a triangle. So you can see you have a you have two layers, one over another, and how to do it is through masking basically. So I was doing a tutorial about masking, so you may want to see it if you are really if you don't know how to how to work the uh, pen and crop well. But anyway, uh, let's go over it. So let's assume we want we want a shape like this one. Okay, do it even though it's triangle. Just use four anchor points and always aim for uh, always uh, make the mask. Uh, being over over this area, uh, so you won't get it cut during the process. So basically, this is what we want uh, want what we want it to look like in the end. And you have to work with the keyframes because it's the, it's the biggest thing which makes everything moving after all. So yeah. Let's let's go for it. This is the final result. Okay, this is how it will look like in the end. So let's move it in the uh, in the back. But we need this mask because we want it to um, we want it to move naturally. So in order to do that, uh, you have to get rid of the you have to get rid of the space which shows the mask. You see, you can leave it like this because no one will notice that uh, it's. It will it will start randomly appearing after a while, and uh, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, um, we are fallible; our perception is faulty. So you can you can make it like this. Um, it doesn't really have to be an obvious in the beginning. So you have this part, you have this ending part, and you want it to you want the effect to um, be as shown. You know, quickly appear and then just slowly slowly continue to spread uh, to the final form. So what you are going to do is you will take about this point uh, a bit before a bit before the final point. I don't know maybe maybe four, five, six frames, something like that. Depend it depends on how you um, you will probably have to correct it because it depends on how naturally it moves or doesn't move. So we will have it here. And you will move it to about uh, four, maybe five. Um, I mean, if you if you have this, if you have this kind of timeline, just go for uh, the fourth uh, frame or maybe the fifth one. Um, depends on how you want it to look. And let's see, let's see how it looks now. Yes, you can see that it actually doesn't really look that bad. Um, you may want to play around with it a bit, probably making it um, appear a bit sl more slower. Yeah, 
And if you if you want to run over another, you can do it easily as I um, as I showed you in the video. You can do it as well as well. Easily, just insert another video track. Let's see where the guy is. Come on, just uh, okay. This is impossible. Seriously, I, ne I can never find anything in which I want. Okay, this is pretty cute actually. Look at her face, just ouch. Kind of show you, show you all of these browns. But anyway, let's let's uh, go for it. Let's go for it and do the same thing. Yeah, so excited and everything. Okay. Now let's move it in the beginning. Uh, in, I mean, in the end. And do it a bit quicker. So you can see actually this really, it's a really um, quick process. If you get a hold of it. Uh, we have this one like this. Okay, let's, let's go with this one like this. The mask. Um, just put it all together. Okay. The ending. The beginning. And let's get rid of it. The end. So, let's see. Yeah, you can see actually it looks uh, it looks pretty cool. And you don't forget to don't forget to uh, set the fade offset because you um, then you can actually achieve this kind of uh, result where you have uh, where you have this one disappearing and this one getting over it. And it looks, it looks actually really interesting. Um, you can also do things like um, making this one change uh, change colors during the process so the so in the other one um, stands out more. And the, the way you do it, I will talk about effects more, but the way you, you can do it is just simply uh, going for black and white, animate it, and as you, again, you have anchors here, and you, this one is set to zero, blend amount of black and white, and you will set it <coughs> to uh, one point in the end, and this way, it tr it, this way the, the mask, which is uh, on the first layer, will, will stand out more. See? And this is basically the final result. I wish you good luck with that. If you want uh, some advice according to according to um, this effect, or if you have any advice, just write me in the comments. And uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.